What's going on you guys? Cameron here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about how we can uh, click on a container field within FileMaker and do an auto action. One of the auto actions we can choose from is how we can click on the container field and go directly into our back facing camera or our front facing camera. The way we do this is on the computer here in FileMaker Pro, we go in edit mode. Now all we're doing is basically making the container a button itself or you can create a separate button that says like take photo and you can deactivate the container but for this case we're just going to make it to when you click on the container itself like you normally would to do an action it's just going to go directly into the action that we want to do in order we in order to do this all we have to do is um create a new script and the script step you're using is the insert from device now the insert from device will ask you, do you want to specify a target field? And in this case we do, we want to select the container and then insert from which you want to insert from the camera. Once you click camera again, it's going to pop up the camera options and you can choose front or back and then the resolution full, large, medium, or small. Let's go large here, click okay. And then one thing that you would like to do, because as soon as you insert from the device, it's still going to be active. The container field will still be active. We want to commit those changes, like clicking out of the container field. We're going to commit records, dialog off, command S to save. All we got to do here is right click on the container field itself, select button setup, perform script, and then select the camera script and then exit layout. So now on my phone here, when we click on the container field, it's going to actually jump straight into, oh, we got to create a, let's create a, some new records here. It's going to go straight to the front facing camera and I can use that and it committed the records and now it's on my computer and my phone at the same time. We can make quick little change. Maybe if instead of wanting the front facing camera, we wanted the back facing camera. Let's go back to that script editor and let's select camera option again and then go from front to back, click OK, Command S to save. So that when we do this again, going back to the iPhone, when we click on that container field, it goes automatically to the back facing camera. And we can use that photo. And there you have it. It uploads that really quickly. So guys, in this video, we went, it was pretty quick. We just went through how we can make a container field do an auto action based off the actions that FileMaker gives you. And in this case, we went straight to either the front facing camera or the back facing camera using a script clicking on the container field. I thank you for watching this. Please like, comment, and subscribe on this YouTube video. It really helps me out. Please let me know what you want in the comments down below for future videos to come. Thanks guys.